what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this is going to be the review for godzilla king of the monsters uh the, this film was directed by michael doherty uh well he was written by max born borenstein i think he worked on the original film not the original film but the film that came before this the first godzilla movie that we got in this new universe back in 2014 he worked on that script uh stars millie bobby brown Kyle Chandler, Vera Farmiga, who you guys will know from the Conjuring universe, and of course Millie Bobby Brown, we know her as Eleven from the Netflix Stranger Things series. We have Bradley Whitford, Ice Cube's son is in, I can't think of his name, I think it's O'Shea Jackson. Uh, the movie itself, I wanna, I'm going to just say off the bat, I grew up watching old Godzilla movies, so I've seen a few of the Japanese movies, and yes, I remember that the characters were forgettable. I remember that the movies were mostly focused on the monster fights and the fact that these were about giant monsters colliding and fighting, and then the humans were just kind of afterthoughts. But the thing about that is we spend most of the time in this movie with the humans. We can't, we have to... Uh, we're not spending our time with these monsters 90% of the time. We're spending the time with the humans. So when you're sitting here looking at a movie that has a very weak plot going for it, like I feel this Godzilla has, you have an uninteresting male lead, which I feel this Godzilla has. Uh, none of the performances are even bad. It's just all very uninteresting. Because the biggest issue that a lot of people had with the first Godzilla was how he didn't have any screen time but the movie was titled godzilla this movie they correct all that we get plenty of godzilla but then they also they don't balance it out with that semi-decent human drama that we also got from the original movie what we get here is human drama that isn't as interesting compared to the original movie and just a lot more godzilla now the problem with that is once again we are not spending our times with these with the monster throughout the film we're with the humans so if we're going to be with the humans we need to have something interesting going on with them that's not to say that the whole entire plot was this was not interesting at all it's just that the plot felt very weak and the humans felt like they only existed to go from one fight sequence to the next with these monsters whereas when the one from 2014 we got to get breaks in between certain fights and of course same thing with this movie we get to see the monsters fight more but then the cameras are not always focused on the fight. As soon as they start fighting, we're switching over to the humans. We're sh switching over to Millie Bobby Brown's character, switching over to something else with the humans. Everything in the movie is visually amazing and it's shot well. The cinematography looks fantastic. The acting is good. It really just comes down to that, that, that story. The story that we're sitting through with these humans is just very, it just feels like it's missing something. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel any type of, it doesn't feel like there's no, no significance to it. I feel like even, cause even in the first one, I don't think that one had that much significance, but it was still somewhat more interesting than what we see here. Cause I feel like it's just fight after fight, after fight, after fight, after fight, after fight, after fight. After fight. So then we're not getting enough time with these characters. None of the characters are really developed. They're really only here to just have i would say that most of these characters they are they're just one dimensional characters that are here to pass time to get you from one fight to the next and the fights between these monsters are amazing godzilla looks amazing the cgi all the visual effects everything everything that had to went into making the fight sequences and the way this movie looks that is all fine the acting is fine everything and there's those are all the pros it's just that the story is just so it feels boring it does feel boring that's not why it's bad it just and also there's like a few not even a few i think there's a many plot holes that have to do with kong skull island because there's a mention of the fact that they didn't know about a certain monster but that can't be true because monarch mentions this certain monster or there's there's reference to monarch knowing about this monster's uh, existence in Kong Skull Island so it's just like little things like that I I give the movie a 6 out of 10 I enjoyed it for what it was this movie was not bad by any means I do think the original Godzilla was better the one that came out in 2014 I gave that one a 6.5 uh, I give this one a 6 yes this one is superior in terms of the visual visual effects the cinematography the fight sequences and the Godzilla screen time that we get but that's about all because when we get all of that then they start losing the human side of things 
the human story just wasn't doing it for me this movie is not bad by any means definitely go check it out let me know what you guys thought about godzilla king of the monsters down in the comment section below if you enjoyed it let me know down in the comment section if you did not let me also know why down in the comment section below if you like this video make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know what movies news and reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video